What's a bad thing everyone should experience at least once in their life? Being put in lose-lose situations. At least for me. It has you being more honest with yourself and others. While also learning how to problem solve and keep unintended consequences at a minimum. Living with an awful roommate. As much of an asshole he was. I credit my first roommate out of college with giving me the motivation I needed to get my finances in order so I could live alone. And oh man it's awesome. So so awesome. Failure. Not like the I never attended that class and failed it kind of failure. But rather the kind of failure where you work your ass off to try to accomplish something significant and come up short anyway. Without going into too many details. This happened to me for the first time at the age of 25 and I could barely handle it. It was career related and honestly it was only through the help of a superior that I was able to get through it, professionally. My wife and family are extremely supportive and I definitely had everything I needed emotionally there. While it was the hardest thing I had ever had to deal with, besides death of loved ones. I consider myself to be much stronger for the experience and it left me far better equipped to help others facing adversity. Learning the difference of wanting to help people who need it and being used because you're known to be helpful. Edit. My first Reddit gold. And I'm so happy that it was gained in a good way. Getting lost. Like completely no idea where you are or how to get back lost. Doesn't matter if it's in the city or the country. Because once you've got yourself are lost you'll feel so much better about any kind of wrong turn in the future. The death of your parents. No parent should have to outlive their child. Edit. Getting lot of responses on this one. I'm glad to see a majority agree. There's nothing we can do about death. So make the most of the life that we are given. If your parents are still with you. Call them up. Tell them you love them. Make some memories with them that truly express how much they mean to you. I'm am sure they will appreciate it and I am sure you will too. Temporary disability. Like a broken leg. Sprained ankle. Having to depend on others. Or not being able to just hop up and do what you want on a whim makes you respect those who struggle with it all the time even more. The kind of breakup where there's nothing particularly wrong with the person in question. No specific thing you could put your finger on, but a sort of low level dissatisfaction that has compounded over time until you realize that you're both making each other miserable and would be better off with other people. It's awful at the time. Because you never feel like you've got a good enough reason to break things off. And why be sad now when you can be, you know, sort of happy, ish, if you squint a bit, forever. I've found that the realization that someone can be a good person and at the same time not the right person for you is a big turning point in how you view relationships. Not as something that can be topped up with grand romantic gestures. But as a long journey you make with someone who, at least, in theory, should help you be the best version of yourself. Relationships take work. Yes. But at the same time sometimes a fresh start is better for all involved. Unemployment. There is nothing like the desperation of spending 8 hours a day writing applications to everything from your dream career to the local they probably pay under the table but at least it's money business. Only to find you're always in second place, if you get a response at all. While fielding everyone's helpful, read. Not helpful at all. And you've already done it anyway, advice and avoiding their questions. To squash your soul. Totally changes how you approach work life. Your view of your personal value. And how you interact with other people who are stuck in unemployment. Heartbreak. Breaking someone else's heart. Rejection. An awkward all encounter. If anyone's looking to knock some of these off their checklist. Being broke. Not just too broke to eat out. But really broke. Changing your bed sheets. Getting one caught on the ceiling fan and breaking every lamp in the room. Bad SX. Or at least. SX that wasn't great. It'll really help you appreciate how amazing it is when you love someone or have chemistry with them. A connection. There's a big difference between the physical act itself and making love. And if anyone in this thread needs help getting there. 
Hit me up. Bad hangover come down. Drugs are fun. But you gotta know the price of pushing your body too hard. I always felt as though doing drugs and drinking was borrowing happiness from the future. The more you borrow. The more you have to pay out later. Being single for long stretches of time. I know. I know. Relationships and sx are fun. But there are so many people who never substantially experience being single. And they move into their 30s not really knowing who they even are. We all need time to figure out who we are. To find our own personal interests and passions completely devoid of another person. Death. When a pet or person you love dies it's devastating. I honestly think it's better to experience it young. I know some woefully unprepared adults. Food poisoning. Yeah. Stop leaving the mayonnaise out you see nt. A car accident. You never truly appreciate how dangerous these steel death traps are until you get hit by another one. It really gives you a greater respect for the vehicle and others on the road. Being told you're wrong and an idiot. Most people just need to be told they're wrong. They accept and learn. And become better people. Others fight to their dying breath to preserve their delusions of perfection and success and fly eye to a rage at the mere thoughts of someone criticizing them. These people need a serious verbal thrashing usually. Childish people who outright refuse to hear that they're doing something wrong. Was in a wow raid one time and our tank would only use this one attack. Sparingly. Claiming I'm AOE and it's okay. Dot. Like no. It's fkin not okay. And the guy just could not understand why no one in our guild would take him in their groups. It's because you're a liability and you refuse to listen. Kevin. WTF. I was expecting getting beaten up to be at least in the top 5. But I couldn't find it in the good first few pages. It is pretty similar to being in a car crash. Most people start avoiding pointless fights after that. Also. Most people have no idea what getting punched in the face is like. No. It is not like in the movies. But the hero just shakes it off. Imagine falling from a bicycle when you least expect it. Boom. That sudden realization that you are on the ground and start figuring out where it hurts and whether you broke anything. I seriously think that going through that. Would limit the amount of one mabe shoving people around and shouting stupid shit after three beers. Failing despite doing everything right. I have a stellar resume with great education. Experience. And references and I've been unemployed underemployed for 6 years. I'm great at what I do, according to all my former supervisors. I've never made a major mistake in life and I've never been fired. I did everything people told me to do to be successful but I'm not. This has been a horrendous experience but I've learned some valuable lessons. 1. My worth as a human isn't dependent on my job or salary. 2. People get screwed through no fault of their own all the time so have compassion. 3. You have to keep going no matter what because there is no alternative. You can't quit life. This is a game that doesn't have an off button. 4. All things are temporary so enjoy the good while you have it. Don't mourn it when it's gone and don't wallow in self pity when things are bad. The more you wallow. The deeper the hole you dig for yourself. Soul crushing heartbreak. The sooner the better. Getting your heart truly broken. Via the end of a long term relationship is a special kind of pain. What makes it especially hard is that it often lingers for months. Sometimes even years. A song. Type of food. Or a smell can instantly take you back to fond memories that make you want to cry out of nowhere. Getting your heart broken earlier in life is for the best. I've seen adults in their late 20s get their heart broken for the first time and it's not pretty. Once you're an adult you have easy access to all of the bad ways to cope with heartbreak. Alcohol. Drugs. Random hookups etc. Sure. Some teenagers can turn to these things too. And do. But it's much less accessible and more noticeable to the people you are dependent on. Your parents. That being said. I wish all couples the best of luck. I love seeing couples that have made it through thick and thin and still love each other. 
but that's not reality for most people. Heartbreak happens. And it's better to learn how to deal with it in a healthy way when you are young. Working a minimum wage job. Everyone I know who hasn't been a dishwasher or similarly classed low level employee lacks a sense of perspective on just how good they actually have it. Retail work or being a waiter. The feeling of complete loneliness and being forgotten by the world. The understanding that you might have friends who you can pal around with. But when you really need them. Suddenly no one has time for you. Throwing up a lot from drinking too much. Not putting your finger down your throat but naturally throwing up. Physical labor. Not retail. I'm talking construction. Mining. Punching. Farming etc. A punch in the face from a friend when you've deserved it. I can't believe you've done this. Being disabled. Temporarily. Not in an obvious. Visible way. But something that really restricts you for a while. Something that really makes you grateful for the good health you have. And gives you perspective about the little things you take for granted. And about the people it's not temporary for. Things like being able to walk across the house without exhaustion. Being able to shower every day. Being capable of doing dishes or cooking without dizziness. Basic stuff. A fight or physical struggle with another person. So many PPL think they will whoop that guy's ass prejudice so that you could learn from the experience the problem is most people then use it to justify their own prejudice having your trust broken nothing like misplaced trust and broken promises to launch a person out of marvetti it also teaches you to value and respect the trust others put on you someone being rude to you while you are an employee at a store or restaurant You'd think twice before snapping at a cashier at Target. More than once. As often as possible. Your deeply held personal convictions need to be challenged and you need to defend them. You'll learn whether or not your convictions actually hold up to logical reasonable close up scrutiny. You'll learn where the weakness in your arguments are and you will learn how to adjust your thoughts and beliefs to better fit the reality. Someone else wrote car accident. But I'll go with my own less injurious experience. Hitting an animal while driving at night. You have no concept of how fast is too fast at night time on a remote road until a kangaroo leaps into your path with no warning and disables your car and leaves you stranded. Losing your job, getting fired or laid off, and having to find a new one. A really bad anxiety attack so they can understand mental illness. I didn't understand it and why it was such a big deal until a few months ago. Being bullied. Maybe. Just maybe. If others knew what it was like. They would respond with actions to bullying and harassment. Not with canned responses like they're just words. OS he's just lashing out. Or just ignore em. Or anecdotes of my bully stopped when I asked them about their home life. Yes. Good job. Now how do you intend to deal with this asshole? Booked on phonics walked for me. You know what they say. Every man should shave his head bald at least once. In most cases it looks bad. But maybe it fits you and looks great. There's just one way to find out. Grieving the loss of their parents. The alternatives are worse. Being stranded in a busy public bathroom stall without toilet paper. Okay. Why? Racism. I'm sad nobody mentioned it here. You'll never understand how a human feels when you never experience it by yourself. It's a very intensive experience to be handled like junk just for random reasons and you can't do anything against it. Stick your dick in crazy. What a kick to the balls actually feels like. Being homeless or sleeping in your car. It makes you really really appreciate things like a hot shower or bed and you stop judging those on the street asking for change. Fried alligator. It's surprisingly tasty. Like chicken with more texture to it. And absolutely delicious smothered in hot sauce. Being cheated on. It sucks but it really puts relationships and what type of people you go for into perspective. 
LSD. A bad LSD drug trip. Teaches you a lot about yourself. What's truly in your subconsciousness and pool of fears. And makes you stronger. Retail. Homelessness. Discrimination and loss of a loved one. We're all in this together. Sometimes we need to be taken down to our essence to really get it. Someone that loves you for exactly who you are. Comma do not pity the dead Harry. Pity the living. And. Above all. Those who live without love. Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. Edit. Shti. I miss the bad in the title. Was wondering why everyone was being so negative in their responses. Heartbreak. Losing your parents. Edit. Don't know why I'm being downvoted. You want to die before your parents? We're all mortal.